one of the great new components we have uh, with the ACE components is called the, the new data table. Now this is, we also have a data table uh, uh, component as some of you might know in our previous standard ICE component suite, but this is a completely new uh, redesigned, uh, redesigned data table. Uh, it does a lot of things. There's built-in uh, built sorting, uh, there's built-in filtering, there's nothing you as a developer have to write. There's not a line of code that you have to write uh, aside from specifying uh, what you want, what features you want in the tag uh, for these, which is really cool. You can do multi-column sorting. Uh, you can do column uh, co move. You can move columns around. There's automatic pagination. Uh, there's also automatic uh, um, automatic uh, lazy loading. Uh, if you uh, if you're dealing with large data sets, tens of thousands of rows that you don't want to load right away, you can actually have the component uh, uh, work with an API uh, that allows you to uh, uh, to fetch data from the database or from wherever your data source is as you need it, as the user is actually scrolling through or paginating through the the component. And uh, there's a lot of great features with the with the data table, including uh, column uh, reordering, column resizing, uh, column stacking. You can actually put uh, one column over the other for particular uh, particular grid type layouts. As I showed you, uh, automatic filtering. There's actually a find API, so you can actually allow the user to uh, search for a particular for a particular data. And if it's on a separate, uh, if a particular data is in a row that's on a on a separate page, we'll actually automatically uh, uh, page to that uh, uh, to that data. There's a great grouping support, um, so you can do a column and row grouping. As I mentioned, there's a automatic lazy loading, uh, so you can uh, you can use very very large data sets with your with your data table and not worry about performance. Uh, you can have multi-row headers. As I mentioned, there's automatic uh, built-in pagination. You can specify at the bottom or the top or uh, both. You can also, of course, define how many rows you want per page and uh, what your selected page is. We also have built-in panel expansion if you need to have sub-rows. And, of course, there's row selection. So, uh, there's an API for calling a listener based on a, based on a uh, selected row. There's also built-in cell editing with, uh, with the new rich uh, data table here. So I can click on the edit button and edit a particular cell or value and then uh, click, uh, click to accept uh, those changes. Uh, there's scrolling support as well, sorting support, of course, and there's also a configuration pop-up if you'd like to allow the users to define preferences uh, for uh, which, for instance, which uh, um, which columns they want to uh, see visible and so on. And these preferences can actually be stored and uh, stored for the user and uh, uh, um, reused uh, on later subsequent sessions, which is, which is very nice. So it's basically a, a simplified preferences, uh, preferences support for your, for your table. So take a look at that. It's the new ACE data table, and it's available uh, at uh, icefacesshowcase.isop.org, uh, and it's also available in our, in our download bundle. When you get icefaces, you get all the samples, including the demos. And, all the source code is there. Uh, so take a look at that and tell us what you think and tell us if there's any other uh, requirement that, uh, that you can think of that we haven't thought of. Um, it's very fully featured, so I don't think we've run into anything uh, yet that uh, people haven't been asking for. 
uh, and that's ba that's basically our new flagship uh, component for the ACE components that we're we're quite proud of. So we hope uh, we hope uh, you like it too.